Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Redor Remastered! Today, for a Patreon cast, it's going to be Killer versus Ample. Here on Eclipse, top right, we have the blue Terran. It is Ample. And in the bottom left, it is Killer. Two incredible players, current players, who are still competing in StarCraft Brood War at a very, very high level. This is an RJB replay and a Patreon cast, so it's a twofer of sorts. Hmm, maybe it's a sneaky twofer. You don't know. Terror the Overlord scouting out across Eclipse. This is basically third world without the fact that you can't access the other side unless you're a pro or unless you have flying units. Anyway, you know what this is. You know what this map is. You've seen it. Probe moving out, or rather SCV moving out from Ample. I'm going to throw up a barracks here, which is interesting interesting place for it actually hmm he's not walling off with it it's not a proxy proxy hmm Do, do, do. So this is a Patreon cast, just means it's going to show up on patreon.com slash falconpaladin a month before it shows up on the YouTube channel. Thanks for supporting me if you're watching this, the week of American Thanksgiving in 2021. I really do appreciate the support, and if you're watching this in December 2021 or afterwards, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. I'm here five times a week with Brood War content. Alright, so it's an overpool opening here from Killer, and maybe a little bit of Marine pressure from Ample. Hmm. So the drone says, that's a weird place for a barracks. Uh, Alright, man, you're not walling off, so I'm going to scout you with this drone. And I know the Marine's coming because I scouted you with a drone. So I kind of feel like this early pressure is not going to work. Ah, so the SCV says, that hatch is over cool timing. That means there are lings on the way. No chance to throw down a bunker. It's a waste of time. I'm just going to go ahead and scout. And scout, he does. Maybe harass a couple of drones. Eh? Eh. And yeah, so we got three marines here. Just kind of chilling. Defending against zergling attacks. I think one of them killed the drone. Yeah, one of them killed the drone, but that's okay. The drone did his job. Scouted the weird proxy barracks. And the proxy barracks plan was foiled. Alrighty, so Zergling's moving out. We are, let's see, not quite having the gas enough to go for speed yet. There's the expansion coming up. There are four Marines and four Lings. Slow Lings are actually surprisingly good against unupgraded Marines like this, but not when it's a one-to-one -one scenario. That's just not even fair if that were the case. If it was a two-to-one scenario, the Lings would do better, cost for cost, obviously. The Marines don't have stim. They're not very fast. The Lings don't have speed either, but the Lings do very well here. Just not in these numbers. So the Marines chasing him away. Second base is done now from Killer. And he's going for that lair. So that is the plan here. Lair and then Metabolic Boost. Which indicates we're going to go for something of a Mutalisk style play. This SCV scouting about. Sees the lair timing. Says, okay. I will expect the Mutalisks. Which you definitely, definitely should do. One billion percent should do. All right. So, again, we're not going to catch this SCV necessarily with slowlings, but once Metabolic Boost is up, he is going to die. Marine's pushing out. Interesting timing here. There's no medic support. There's no stim. The Academy is just now starting construction on that production tab. So this is just basically to force Killer to make more lings or throw down a sunken, which he doesn't want to do right now. He wants to save all of his resources for Aspire and then more of his resources to make Mutalisks. So any Zerglings and any Sunkins you can force him to produce at this stage of the game is good. And honestly, you don't even have to attack here. Um, that's straight up. Like, you don't have to go in. But the fact that you're forcing out more Lings and this Sunken... Oh, but if you can get there in time before the Sunken finishes construction, that's actually super, super good. So the Lings try to come in without their... Oh, they do have the speed upgrade. Oh, killer! Killer? Okay, that worked out actually pretty well for Killer. He was forced to make more lings than he wanted to, and a sunken he didn't want to, but he killed all those marines. 
and reset the count. Yeah, so forced to throw up a bunker here. He's got two Marines. He knows the Lings are cruising up. SCVs have to come off the line to block against the incoming Zergling invasion. That Marine is outside the wall. Uh, okay, he gets inside the bunker. The bunker completes. That is an excellent, excellent life choice there. And just a matter of, uh, a matter of life and death for that Marine. And he gets it. Killer's third base coming up. Spire just about done. So this is an important thing for Zerg players to understand. You want to drone up a bunch. You want to save money for the Mutalisks, but you also have to be prepared and aware of weird attacks coming at different times from your Terran or Protoss opponent. Right? If you over-prepare for it, it's going to hurt your economy. It's going to hurt your Mutalisk count. If you under-prepare for it, you just die. It's a very tricky thing to try and balance. So it's five Mutas on the way, maybe six. No, I'm going for plus one Flyer instead of six Mutas. All right, what are you working on here, Ample? Well, getting up an academy. Well, he already has the academy. He is working on range upgrade for Marines. He has an engineering bay. So at this stage, turret production should really begin. And there it is. Turret's coming up at the natural base. The main the main base, yes, working on turrets as well. And bam, he's got it figured out. Ample knows exactly what he needs to do in this situation, which is get turrets, get Marines with range, get some medics out. A bunker's not going to be bad either. And these Mutas are here to allow Killer to drone up, which he's doing, making three drones at a time, expand maybe once more. Maybe tech up to Lurkers while trying to kill some SCVs, maybe take out some turrets, force those to be reproduced. And what are we doing? Okay, so ignoring the turret, just going after, just going after these SCVs, don't mind us, say the Mutalists. Losing one of the five there, again, this is not concerted Mutalisk pressure right now and I think Apple recognizes that he's like okay this is about five mutas this is not seven eight nine ten eleven mutalisks I don't need additional turrets up you will start seeing additional turrets if there's more mutas than there's just the initial five and that's it so still working on plus one flyer though that indicates we are interested in making more than these there you go <coughs> excuse me I was gonna say that is uh an indicator that the Zerg wants to make more than Five mutas, and there we go. So four more are coming in, getting an evolution chamber here too. I don't want to call this Soma style, because I don't think Soma came up with the concept of Mutaling, but the person I've seen make the most of Mutaling in TBZ in the last year is definitely Soma. So we'll see if this was Killer's going for. I keep watching that production tab, looking for maybe Hydralisk Den to go for Lurkers, but nah, nah, man. Oh, just kidding. He just started a Hydralisk Den. So, all right. So the mutas are going to have plus one attack eventually. This is a long long upgrade. His friends are coming in here too. Some commsat scanning. Probably caught the Hydralisk Den. You probably want to scan this area with your commsat if you're doing any scans at all. Alright, so mutas are here. They're stacked up. But they can't wait for plus one. And they're going to try to picket these marines. But oh, a lot of marines with stim and the range upgrade and medic support. So the mutas are like let's live to fight another day. Some Zerg players would kind of suicide those mutas in there and try to kill as many of those marines as he could or maybe keep hunting around to pick off individual missile turrets or SCVs. But this is extremely well defended. Yeah, really well defended by Ample. Are we surprised by this? Nah, we've seen Ample take down Queen on the channel in the last oh, six months or so. Time does, doesn't have any meaning anymore. Queen's Nest, Lurker Den coming in. Marines with plus one attack, range, and stim. The Muta Flock, I don't think is big enough to do this. I mean, yes. Can you kill some of these Marines? Absolutely. Can you wipe out the whole flock with eight Mutas with plus one attack? I don't know. Maybe with your Lings you can. Is he going to go? He's thinking about it here, but the Lings accomplish almost nothing, and the Marines are chasing out, and yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. We're going to buy time for Lurkers to finish because we need those against this many Marines. Mutas and Lings aren't going to cut it. Not if you're on the defensive, especially. The thing about Mutas is they need to choose the time and the location of the defense. And if they can't do that, if they are forced to defend against a force that they don't want to engage with, because if they don't, they lose the game, then that is the worst position for Mutas to be in. This is a better position. They're, I mean... They do need to engage to slow this down so we can actually get some lurkers out for killer. But they don't have to engage, engage, and just kind of A move into the group because that would be... they All these mutas would die to these marines with stim and the range and the plus one. 
and the medic support. Absolutely farewell to all these mutilists. Who's keeping them alive? Six more lurkers are coming up. Seven lurkers coming up. Okay, so pretty happy to be on three bases now with the lurkers. Very, very fast to tech up to this stuff because you need to do it. When your opponent has this many marines out, one, two, three, four, five barracks, possibly going to get a sixth and a seventh, maybe even an eighth here. We got science vessel production. We're working on a siege tank and siege mode. So are we going to see a transition into mech here? That is the larger question of the day. Are we going to see that or not? Hive going to finish, so we're going to see some of the filers. Top left expansion attempt here by Killer. Maybe he's hiding. He's got the money for it. I mean, I wouldn't... I don't see why not. Why you wouldn't just toss this up now? I mean, I guess you're worried about the Terran being on two bases, which indicates that he's going to have a huge army. He's not spending a lot of money on SCVs, and so he's got to spend it on something. Okay, Lurker Muta here. Something of an in-control strategy that we've seen on the channel from some of his older games before he passed. Rest in peace in control. Can be pretty good. I mean, oh, hold position, Lurker! It almost worked! It almost worked way better than that, but the SC the science vessel came in and spotted for it. Now there are siege tanks out, and the lurkers are yeah, trying to run for it, because siege tanks are good. If you're struggling against lurkers, siege tanks are going to be not a terrible answer to them. Consume on the way. Defilers on the way. Adrenal glands coming in. The lurkers are sitting there at plus one armor. Uh, attack upgrades are not forthcoming right now. Still making marines. Marines, science vessels, medics, more barracks. So yeah, a couple tanks, three tanks. But we're not transitioning into mech, at least not at this moment. That is always a possibility. That can be extremely hard for a Zerg player to deal with if it is done with skill and precision. <laughs> Which is a lot to ask for. Mutas, ah, they get a tank, but they also get a radiated. Split that off. Split it. Okay, got it split off there, but the lurkers are taking tons of damage. Get out! Lings jumping in! Muta's attacking from the top side. They're trying to get the tanks out, but the Lings can't. Like, with the Adrenal, even then... Ooh, got a single tank. That's more than I expected from that engagement from the Mutalisks. That was not too shabby at all. The Lings are at no attack upgrades with Adrenal and plus one armor. They're working on plus one melee, which would be good. 91 to 85 supply. It is definitely just the eight racks marine science vessel medic strategy. Oh, got a science vessel with mutalisks. That's not easy at all. And now this changes the game right here. Ready, set, dark swarm. Get out of there. Back out. Split. Oh, but just splitting me leaves you vulnerable to ling attacks. Oh, the mutas are all dying, but they're buying time for another dark swarm to get up here. Siege tanks in range. Lurkers. There's fire bats in them there, Hills. But the Lurkers are pretty good against fire bats. Siege tank down. Siege tank down. And Ample is forced to back out from this position. Play Goo getting researched. Still, more Marines. More tanks. More science vessels. More infantry weapons upgrades. We've got the plus two just now finishing up. Excellent upgrade timing indeed for this incoming attack. Lings fighting without the Dark Swarm. It's just never going to work. There we go. Oh, a couple Scourge get picked out of the sky, but they do take down a science vessel. Very, very nicely done there, this Defiler. Please don't burn me alive, Mr. Firebats. Get in the Dark Swarm. No! Assassination. Assassination complete. Ultralist Cavern coming in. This is not all of a sudden looking very good for Ample. Once Ultra Star pop it out, and all you have to deal with them are Marines and Firebats... Uh, it's not good. Also, I'm not sure you have enough to deal with this particular army right now. Killer is killing it. Pun not intended. It's not really how I roll, but sometimes they come out when you're casting, especially. Another engagement. The Dark Swarm, once again, a little bit late. And Ample's doing a good job standing and fighting until the Dark Swarm comes up. Once the Dark Swarm comes up, you immediately bail. Or, you know, you get plagued. Oh, gosh. Oh, the Science Vessel catches the play here, too. It's 72 to 70 supply in favor of Ample. He's got a lot of Marines, but he doesn't have the tech to deal with Ultras, which we don't have any yet, obviously. But Ultralisk Cavern is done. Kitness Plating Upgrade coming in. He is starting an Ultralisk in production. More and more Lurkers coming in here, too. Still no sign of a third base uh, for Ample. He's been trying to expand up here, but it has not gone well for him thus far. He's on two bases of 14 minutes, which is bad. He needs to take down one of Killer's bases, or he's just going to lose this game straight up. Or, I guess, get a third base. That's going to help, but also killing a Zerg Blade would be amazing. 
A Zerg Blaze. A Zerg Blaze would be a blazing. Flank attack! Good science vessel down. The other one stays alive but does get plagued. And once you're just running for your life from these lings, you're all plagued. Even if you're not plagued, does it matter against these guys? I don't know. They got plus one attack and plus two armor. And Adrenal, they're working on plus two attack. More Ultralisks in production. Just nothing but Marines. Marines and Marines and Marines. Are we going to repair the science vessel? That's what always comes up in the comments. Why don't Terrans repair their science vessels, Falcon? I just, it's a waste of gas, in their opinion, and SCV resources and time they could be using to mine stuff, and it's just not worth it for a lot of these players. We will see Flash do it sometimes, though, which, you know, it's Flash, right? Anyway, Zerglings radiates, getting tossed down on the Defilers. Dark Swarm comes up pretty much where he can toss it down. The Fireback count is enough to where these Lings aren't going to do super hot, but the Ultras are going to do amazing. Anabolic Synthesis coming in. Marines are not good against Ultras, but if you have like 20 of them firing on a mer an Ultra at the same time, they will kill it fairly quickly. You just have to outnumber it immensely to make it work, right? Scourge firing. Uh, do not hit that science facility. No, too good for that. Killer is too good for that. Although these science vessels... Okay, science vessel down. No, does not catch another one there. Lurkers up. Just, man, baiting, running marines into lurkers in a position they don't expect them to be in is so good. 123 to 116 supply. Killer has a lead, which does not bode well for this game right now for Ample. This fourth base is happily running. He's got a Nidus Canal defending it. He's got Lurkers up there too. The Ultras don't have speed yet, which is really important here. Like, really important for them to have Anabolic Synthesis because anything melee, the faster they are, the better they are. See, this is what I'm talking about. You got like 20 Marines firing on this dude. He needs to get back inside that Dark Swarm. Plus the irradiate and the damage you took from your buddy being irradiated next to you. These ultras not looking good. Spellcasting, as always, incredibly important here in Brood War. These get plagued. One of them got plagued anyway. Science vessels heading up, trying to see what they can see. There are no scourge in this army, or these guys would be dead. They overextended a little bit. Just kidding, we're dead anyway. All right. I think that was two scourge on an already plagued science vessel. Not the most cost efficient play of all time. The overlords not have speed yet? What is going on? Plague, ooh, Dark Swarm, Ultra Ling, incredibly powerful stuff here. Fighting up this ramp against Plagued Marines, but the damage output is not affected by Plague. And they're still pretty scary, and they're forced to retreat back to their safety and then get irradiated and die that way. Ample making some moves here. He's not afraid of your Ultralisks. He's not teching into Spider Mines or Siege Tanks or anything else that traditionally could be used against Ultras. He is definitely sticking with his Marines. Sticking with his medics, the marines do have plus three attack and plus two armor, and then the irradiate is an incredibly important part of this, too. Killer says, I'm tired of trying to engage you where you can run away. I'm just going to go right for your front door. Thanks. There's a tank on the high ground that's causing some problems here. By that, I mean a tank, uh, yes, on the high ground, way on that corner. Bunker down. Is there a counterattack? Yes. Ample coming the left side. He's going to take down one of these hatcheries, but a lot of SCVs are going to die in the natural base. The main base... The production facility home right now of Ample is under attack. Losing some barracks would be a bad thing. He is going to take down this fifth base of the Zerg and then head down to the south. If he can do more damage down here, this would be amazing for him. This one Ultralisk. I got this, everyone. Don't mind me. Ugh, dead, but everybody caught a play because they were busy fighting against the Ultralisk. Reinforcements are not doing very well coming out of here for Killer right now with the Ultras. And the Lings on top of the production. There's Lurkers in there now, too. This group is plagued to high heaven. This Ultralisk is fighting. Dark Swarm is up. Lings coming in. The Lings are really more of the concern when you're fighting and you're plagued just because Lings attack more quickly than Ultras do. And it's more about quick attacks than it is big attacks in that situation. And, man, he does manage to barely, with a couple Ultras and some amazing plagues, clean this up. On the other side, Ample is still 7-kill Lurker there. Still an Ultralisk here fighting. Goes down to the tank fire, goes down to the marine fire, but it's 134 to 79 supply. The Terran lost way more there than the Zerg player did. It's replacing this hatchery on the left side, which is going to be really important to him for income 
56 to 40 total workers in favor of the Zerg player at the moment. It looks like they're going to go for an attack on Ample's third base. Can he defend it? I don't know if he can. He's got a bunker with four Marines inside, but even without Dark Swarm, I think that bunker's dead anyway. With the Lings, with their Adrenal, their plus two attack, plus three armor, plus three's on the way. Zerglings cruising into the third base. A plague maybe accidentally tossed down on that command center. I don't know. This Ultralisk is not fighting against these Lings for some reason. I don't know what it is. Also, we've got some more Ultras inside the mineral field here at the natural base. This has been the source of a lot of dead SCVs. This high ground siege tank is doing some work, though. He wants to kill that Ultralisk more than anything else. Ample is running SCVs back into something of a war zone here. Defensive Matrix Marine fighting. Oh, no, not enough. Defensive Matrix is not strong enough right here. And it looks like Killer is just running away with this 149 to 50 supply. GG! Ample taps out and Killer is your winner in 20 minutes and 47 seconds. That was... Woo! That was something, man. That was absolutely in incredible an absolutely incredible tvz great patreon game really enjoyed this one man killer was so good this game i didn't know who was gonna win but just killer was on top of it plus one mutalisks into lurkers into adrenal gland zerglings into ultralisks and defilers with dark swarm and plague all over the place and yeah, Ample's eight wrecks, well, six wrecks, seven, maybe, maybe eight, seven or eight here. Maybe two barracks died was just not enough to handle it. We've seen this one before, but man, Killer's, Killer's macro was really good. Every single time an army of his died, another army was ready to take its place. And Dark Swarm was on point, Plague was on point, Irradiate was on point, but having Ultralisks and Lurkers and Zerglings inside your production facilities is not a good thing for anybody. Zerg, Protoss, or Terran. I can tell you that much. Wow. All right. So great back and forth here on Eclipse. Let's check out the final score real quick. Hit that like button if you haven't already. 119,000 points to 145 in favor of Killer. 488,000 points, or 488 units produced. 270 killed. About the same units killed here, which is not great for the Terran. Produced was way higher for Killer. More Lings in that situation for sure. More Ultras probably than Ample wanted to see. Buildings raised 10 to 2, which is a great number. A good indicator too. And then Gas Mind. Way more for Killer, but that's usually normal. We will see Terrans that win where they have that number of Gas Mind versus a Zerg opponent when they're going for the strategy. But outspending overall is the biggest number here. 47,000 to 33,000. I mean, Ample's third base was late. It was not up. For as long as he needed it to, that fourth base didn't really happen either. And Killer was just on four bases for too long. Too long to be contained. So GG Killer, and that's going to be it for me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered and a Patreon cast. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw, what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.